focus of Senator Sessions, which is uh, a statement of President Obama and asking for the data, the science behind it. And again, President Obama said, quote, the temperature around the globe is increasing faster than was predicted even 10 years ago, close quote. Do any of the witnesses agree with that statement? And if so, what is the data set you rely on? I think right now we need to focus on the fact that the warming is is happening very, very quickly. And as with respect to the projections of the future, we, ex we expect it to warm even more quickly as we go forward. So with respect to President Obama's specific statement, I, I can't comment on that. But the bottom line is that greenhouse gases have continued to, to move quickly in the atmosphere, and the warming has continued. And so you, you think the surface temperature increase has continued in the last 10 to 15 years? Well, as I mentioned in my, in my testimony, I think it's important not to focus specifically on the atmosphere. So as I said, warming ha the, the temperature rise has slowed in the atmosphere. Despite continued warm decades, record-setting decades, the warming over the past 15 years has slowed, but it's what, gone into other components of our climate that? system. So explaining the fact that the, the atmospheric temperature rise has slowed, it's because the warming has gone into other components of our climate system, most notably the deep ocean. So, so the warming has by no means stopped. It's, it's merely penetrating into other aspects of our climate system, okay. and that's Ms. really important to know. Ms. Cullen, one narrative of this hearing seems to be that extreme weather is dramatically accelerating. Um, now, most of the folks telling that story and most of your testimony were about examples, um, anecdotal evidence. And that's relevant, but that's obviously not a trend, that's not data, that's not science. So what scientific trend would you point to with regard to extreme weather? So I think there's very clear trends that we can point to, both with respect to heat waves, for example, and heavy downpours. So, for example, in, in my part of the world, in, in the Northeast here, we've seen a roughly 73% increase in heavy downpours. Those heavy downpours have increased across the United States. Looking at the U.S. as well, we've Over seen... Over what period of time? Starting in the 1950s moving forward. So a very significant increase in heavy downpours that we would, can see in the observational would you, record. Would you point to any other metric besides heavy downpours? I would say that we can point to, to several different metrics. We can see an increasing trend in flood magnitude, when we look at the U.S. as well, we can see that there's been an, an increase towards, towards drought in the southwest, and that's being pushed by the fact that we're seeing less precipitation out west, and we're seeing this increased heat in the west. Let, let me just show you some long-term trends that I think was made available to you because it's part of the testimony of one of our other panelists on panel two. And, you know, it seems to suggest a significant, significantly different story, and I just wanted you to react. Um, let's put those up quickly. So this is heat waves long term. This is drought long term, the whole 20th century. Okay. So I think this is an important... Let, let me just walk through sure. it. These are wildfires, um, obviously peak here, but recently a, a change. Um, We're going to have to keep it moving, David. The, sure. These are cyclone landfalls globally, and these are hurricane landfalls in the U.S. Now... We, we have to move it on, as I said. We're okay, I just like each. I Dr. Cullen's it. reaction of that. Okay, doctor, would you respond? Yeah, I think there's a really quick response to this, and that is it's, it's really important for us to not look at the nation as this average, that what we're seeing now is how the warming is impacting us in specific regions. So in the southwest, we're seeing this increase in drought and wildfires. In the Midwest and in the northeast, we're seeing this increase in flooding. So got to think of the observational data record, which you just showed annually and nationally averaged, but we've also got to think of the physical mechanism. So we know that as it warms, the southwest will be particularly impacted. As we have more moisture in the atmosphere, the northern tier will see this, this shift in more storm tracks. So think of it as a regional signal. Okay. 
I ask unanimous consent to place in the record <clears throat> a NOAA document, Billion Dollar Weather Climate Disasters from 1980 to 2012, which I think everyone will find instructive. Uh, Senator Whitehouse. Reserving the right to object, uh -huh. uh, can, uh, can Senator Vitter's uh, can a, a reduced, uh, well, let me ask unanimous consent then. Whatever you that, want. That uh, eight record, and a half by 11 record, copy of Senator Vitter's only documents he, also be included. Not only in can he put in They're book. actually we, in the witness's testimony already. We will, if I could just say, we will put in any document. We will leave the record open until tomorrow, 10 a.m. Put in anything you want. I just wanted to make just sure that I got it in at the same time. anything you want. Alice in Wonderland, anything you want. Uh, 